Hello, this is Alan Hunter talking about memoir and memory and the writing of memoir once again. And I'm going to say a few things that perhaps need saying at this point because you need to ask yourself what you're writing your memoir for. If you're writing it to sell a million copies, well, that's great. But what I have been at pains to point out so far is that the writing of memoir will change you. It will change your relationship to the past, and thus it will change your relationship to the present. So never forget, please, that you are doing this not so that you can see your face on the back cover of the glossy best-selling book, but so that somehow or other you're making yourself a better person, and in the process that you'll be able to make other people better as well because of what they will learn from you. This is the true heart of memoir. This is the true heart of why we're on earth, I think. It's to become better so that we can help others to become the best version of themselves. And remember also that sometimes the very best thing you can do might not be to sit down at the keyboard again. It might be to sit on the floor with a four-year-old and some building blocks and play with that child. That might be what's needed from you right now. Or it might be that your next door neighbor or a neighbor needs some chicken soup in order to get better. So please remember that this whole business of writing one's memoir is about becoming the best version of who you can be so that you can participate more compassionately in the way the world turns. That's what we're here for. I hope this helps you. Thank you.